according to these documents, that day, the stepmother is the one making him do these horrific workouts. And she said to him, unlike you, I know where the sharp knives are, little boy, and I can make you disappear. Now get in the basement. And she, according to him, the child, she's the one that barricaded him down there and wouldn't give him anything to eat. How could your son be alive in your basement? Uh, uh. Out to Charlie Langton, reporter with WWJ News Radio 950. Charlie, the parents were in court today. What happened? Well, there was a probable cause hearing today, but they waived it. So now they are asking for a jury trial on these issues. Also, the judge continued no visitation with little Charlie. And a court official said today that little Charlie was doing very well living with bio mom. To the lawyers, Paul Henderson, former prosecutor, joining us from San Francisco. There is going to be a trial in this case because the Department of Human Services wants to terminate the parental rights. And here is, Paul, what the defense is saying. They are saying that under law, corporal punishment can be allowed. This is what it was to little Charlie, not abuse. How far will that go? Well, uh, they're going to look at the facts and circumstances in this case. My understanding in this case was that he had actual bruises on him and bleeding from actually being punished with a pipe. Now, that goes beyond what is contemplated in allowable corporal punishment. So in a case like this, where we have a child that was in fear, as this child was, and in addition to the punishment, we have facts and circumstances where he wasn't being fed regularly, where he may have been forced to exercise at those excessive and ridiculous circumstances and rates, those are the kinds of things that the court is going to be contemplating. Uh, and just so we're aware and clear, the dependency issues which have to do with custody are going to bleed into possible criminal charges if it's determined. And Alex Sanchez, here's the, here's the point, yeah. okay? All of these issues that they have, and there's going to be a trial. There's going to be witnesses. The father wants to have a meeting with his son, Charlie. He wants a visitation. How can that happen, Alex, if they're going to be witnesses really on opposite sides right now? You, you know, <clears throat> first of all, even if all of the allegations are true and the father and the mother admit that these, this is exactly what happened, that, that's not going to result in the complete severing of parental rights. Maybe the, the parents will have to go through some type of a training program, a parental program, or maybe their rights might be suspended temporarily. But to completely sever their rights from here for, for the rest of the child's life or until they're 18 or 21, that's simply not going to happen. In terms of the father trying to see the child, that's, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. And anything he says in that, that uh, family court hearing could result in, a, in uh, being used during the criminal proceedings, by the way. No question. Randy Kessler, what I find very interesting in all of this is the state is asking for termination of parental rights. Have they gone too far? Because normally parents take classes, there is supervised visitation, you work toward ultimately maybe having your rights terminated. Should they be at this point? I don't know if they should be at this point, but the state acts as what we call parents patriot. The state has to check out and look after children when the parents aren't doing so. But right now, there's a mother, and the mother is going to get custody. The mother's going to be the one taking care of the children. And long term, maybe there will be a reunification plan. All that matters now is that these people are not allowed near this child until it is guaranteed that they won't cause any more harm. Uh